You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Coolin' Out. We are back. It's Kev. And it is Rel. What's up, man? Ah, uh, nothing much, man. Nothing much. Yeah. Just more the same. Um, yeah. uh, we're hitting that uh, that time. Remember when we used to have these discussions in like March, April, mm-hmm. and that cut off mid June. <laughs> I'm happy phase one has started because it's just yeah, it's it's really starting. Uh, it's just more the same. It's just too yeah. much more the same. Yeah. TV TV is really starting to get boring now. Yeah. Books and stuff. Yeah. And it's getting hotter and hotter outside. So it's like, I can't even escape to go exercise. It's getting really hot. Yeah. I can't even really run. Yeah. So what's the temps like up there? Uh, Today was cool. It was like 80 degrees, but the next couple of days are like near 90. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. These past few have been like near 90. Tomorrow's going to be like near 85 and then a couple, then an 80. It actually smooths over actually until next week is, wow. All mm. 90s. But all 90s? Almost. Pretty much hovering there. Jeez, it's not even that hot down here. Yeah, the week after next, I should say. Shit. Oh, yeah. That's the press suit. <laughs> but just chilling, man. Yeah. Uh, just chilling. Ain't really much original. Yeah. Now we called it, though, like you said, around this time when mm-hmm. it should get real. I feel like phase one, I feel like New Yorkers are going to force phase two. Mm-hmm. going to force it into effect. I mean, I don't know. Like, we're in, like, phase two and, like, so now, I, so I made it back down to Charlotte this week. I finally got back down here. And there's that, remember that bar that's right, right across the street from my apartment that I used to always complain about? Because it's mad yeah. loud. Uh-huh. They back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, I see what, like, um, remember I was telling you a couple weeks ago, like, how the uh, restaurants are, like, bars that serve food are essentially, like, mm-hmm. open and their outdoor spaces are open. Like, it's like a really, like, thin line there that, that they're playing. But, yeah, that spot across the street is just a bar. But because they serve food and they have a rooftop patio, they can, they're open. You going? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I might step out. I don't know if I'm going to go there, but I'm going to step out for a little on Saturday just to get out of the house. I'm not, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be, like, going ham or like that, but I definitely want to, like, probably make a daytime move or something just to get out. Um, been on my mom's couch for, you know, over two weeks. And now I'm at my crib and my shit, trying to, you know, figure out my shit still. So mm-hmm. definitely need to blow off a little bit of steam, uh, but definitely not going ham. I can't get Charlotte in my life like that. Feel you. <sighs> but it's hot as hell out here, though. Yeah. As well. Yeah. And I'm not even gonna lie, like normally like Charlotte be like semi packed. They don't really be like jumping, jumping like that. Mm-hmm. I went out for a walk today. Mad people out. Yeah. Yeah. What phase like, are y'all in? Two. But we only have three phases. Um, but like I think it's just because like people everyone's just been cooped up in the crib for so long, like everyone's outside. Mm-hmm. Just mad people jogging, walking over place, parks crowded. Like it's just mad people. Like I'm like, I'm not used to seeing as many people in Charlotte. Like all right, I mean, I'm I'm not upset about it because I'm you know I, I used to be upset when I did not see people. Mm-hmm. It was good to see people. So I'm interested to see like what this first weekend out is gonna look like. Oh, uh, people are like at these restaurants, uh, and what and what that's gonna look like. Cause I'm, I definitely need a break. Bro. Work has been extremely stressful this week yeah um, and if i ever tell you i'm driving uh midweek after work mm-hmm. from D- dc to charlotte just please talk some sense into me that shit threw my whole week off bro like driving overnight 
and then having to work the next day was the worst thing that I could ever did. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't take any days off. Yeah, I should have, but I'm still in my go-getter phase, trying to impress people when I shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's jump into it, man. Where do we even start? I guess we'll start. You, you warned me, Cap. You warned me. You told me not <laughs> to get my hopes up. Two told months me not out. To get my hopes up about mm-hmm. the NBA. You know, two months out. So a couple of weeks ago now, the NBA. What was it last week? I think last week. Last week, the NBA I announced last the date. Week. Yeah, tentative return date for June. Sorry, July thirty first. Mm-hmm. So you know, me being who I am, I get anxious. I get excited. Like old oh, bet. Playoffs start. I'm coming to New York. Like we gonna watch playoffs at the like, Again, hype. Kev texts me back. Just relax. Two months <laughs> out. <laughs> Nigga crushed all my dreams. Just relax. It's two months out. You never know what could happen. I'm like, you know what? You right. Let me calm down. <sighs> then was it a couple of days ago? Now get the Woj bomb. Mm-hmm. Or was it Shams who dropped it? it? Was Woj right? I think it was Woj. Yeah, I think it was Wolves who broke this, that some players are potentially considering not returning. I, I mean, there, there aren't too many details out about it yet, but I just – I think it, it depends on who those players are. Because uh, mm-hmm. you got, like, someone like Carmelo saying that it's still up in the air for him. And while I care, I really don't care. Um, yeah. He's at that part in his, that part of it in his career now. It was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I care, but, like, you're not really moving numbers, meaning, in, like, uh, ratings. Like, you're not, you're, not, you're not bringing in, like, no real ratings. The, the Trailblazers are the Trailblazers. When he first came back, I'm sure them ratings were through the roof, but then people actually saw them play. And y'all are a French playoff team now who got to play in to get into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Like, if Melo don't come back, he just don't come back. It ain't going to stop people from watching whatever game the Trailblazers were going to be in. Um, but I think it depends on the magnitude of a super of a of a, a all star. Cause I'm trying to think of a good example. Say for example, Bradley Bill says he's not playing. That's the only thing with the Wizards. Yeah. So that affects some kind of ratings because then people obviously you got people who the casual people who love basketball. Sorry, not the casual fan. People who the the avid basketball fans who love basketball they're gonna watch damn near every game. And we love basketball, but the odds of us watching the Wizards game, period, even with Bradley Bill, are slim to none. So if Bradley mm-hmm. Bill ain't playing, <laughs> yeah. so, so, like, if he says, like, I'm thinking, I'm just using that as an example, because he's the only one on that team. I don't even know who else is on that team. Is Isaiah Thomas still on that squad? He didn't even, he didn't even play, so I don't even. Yeah, he was too busy fighting. I think he fans. was. I think he was, though. But, Either way, so I think it depends on the magnitude of the star, superstar that's, that's uh, considering sitting, mm-hmm. and then also the situation, like what, what's their situation? What team do they play for? How important are they to their team? So that, like that kind of stuff. No, yeah, we're in agreement. Uh, it, it's so hard to talk about because you don't know who. I know there was like that all-star telephone conference they had, I guess, a month ago now, with, like LeBron. What, Westbrook, AD, Kawhi, Kawhi, Durant, Curry, Executor, Dame. Like the cream of the crop, minus Harden. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason. But they were, um, they set the momentum going to play. So when you have those names, and obviously like Durant's not going to play, he said. Curry can't because his team sucks. Um, knowing that the main people were, were for it, that was enough for me. But to your point, I, I'm trying to think, like, if I guess if I should start. It seems like AD and LeBron are intact, and so far the Lakers yeah. are intact. <laughs> so that's number one. That's key. That's what's important. So that, that's what's important, yeah. But I guess, like, I don't know, if, like, a Joel Embiid or a Ben Simmons said they weren't going to come back. Mm. Or they're feeling reluctant. I'd feel away because that would take away from an already – Slightly inferior conference that would take away a, a top team potentially making some noise and seeing star players play 
So mm-hmm. players in that elk, like if like a Jason Tatum said he wasn't going to come back, you know, people like a Jimmy Butler for whatever reason took Ooh. away from. Because I assume like Kawhi, Ka- Kawhi was on that call too. I, I assume they're all, they all wanted the league to come back. So like yeah. the, the top 10 that are eligible to play would play. But when you, st- even like Jokic is already down there and he done lost weight and he's ready to play. So it really, I want to know who the best player that doesn't want to play is and mm-hmm. then trickle from there. Before I really, I'm going to watch because Bron's adamant. He's been adamant. So I assume he's stressing the same to his team. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if the product comes back and a lot of the, you know, the ancillary players, the the B pluses, the A minuses are out, it'll it would it's gonna rock the viewing experience to some extent. Like, mm-hmm. Knowing that they could have played but they chose not to. So we'll see. I wish I had names though. But overall I'm gonna yeah. watch because the Lakers are intact. It seems the Clippers are intact. I think Giannis is on the call too. They're intact. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about the those are the top three teams. Their stars are there. So even if some teammates aren't, the stars are. That's where it starts. So then you got Westbrook and Harden yeah. seem like they want to play. I'm just going through the top teams in my head. So after that, I, I don't know. It really depends. But I don't think in a grand scheme is going to – it might to the extent like, damn, what could have been, damn, you had, you know. But not too much. I don't think it's going to rock me. Yeah, I think um, – damn, lose my train of thought. Yeah, I think, like, it's too hard to tell because it's so far. Like, even since they announced the, the date, tentative date, like, things mm-hmm. have changed. Like, we got the Wolves alert today saying that now they're thinking that they're going to move it up to the 30th. And, but then even outside of sports, we're seeing uh, as our country, like, reopens, at least the media at least is reporting it. I don't know how they're getting – you know, how – this has happened, I guess, more testing, supposedly. But uh-huh. the amount of, like, coronavirus cases is increasing. And if they're saying... Not in New York. Is, yeah, that's the only <laughs> that's place. Cuomo was important to stress, but continue. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, but, like, say, like, if, and, if, and if based on what the scientists have said that we're going to have a, another comeback in the fall, mm-hmm. the NBA restarting their season in July, as you know, cut, the close. Fall. Yeah, it's, like, going right into the fall. And then you also think, I think we don't know what this world's going to look like two months from now. Like, COVID come back with a, like, with a fucking, with a bang. Yeah, over the summer because everyone's out and wilding out. So, like, we really don't know, like, what's going to happen. Um, ah, Trump told us the heat going to kill it. It's going to be gone. <laughs> I saw it today he said um, that even if there's a second, um, a second wave mm-hmm. of it, he, he's not shutting down the country. You say you're not doing that again. I believe him. It's election time. We, we're getting closer now. <laughs> it didn't be them poll numbers. It is what yeah. <laughs> I hear him. But yeah, you but, say, um, say you're not shut it down. If you're an NBA, you're a billion dollar company. You got to account for everything you can. So even yeah. though they had to, we've, Fauci been saying this since March. I feel like since like the, the lockdown initially started that a, a sequel was going to come and so these are yeah. all factors they're aware of, but they've, um, in conjunction with the players, they're working together to march on in the face of all that. So once you ex- assess the risk, I don't, to the best you can. My only point is they know that potentially a second wave is going to come, but they still plan the days as they did. So I, I can't really, everyone's aware of the, the dangers. Yeah. I just hope that they just, get that bubble right and, and their testing is up to par like I just I don't know I, I, I just want it to come back like I just don't want any delays I don't want anything to go off course you guys are a billion dollar corporation you should have the best doctors the best everything lined up best preventative measures and precautionary measures put in place so that you can bring back this season with no hiccups or as little hiccups as possible mm-hmm because yeah, and these are athletes go ahead, sorry. in top shape. No, I'm, I'm yep. saying these are athletes in tip-top shape. So. Sorry, yeah, because I – no, my depression is setting in. Uh, ESPN uh, sent me an alert this morning saying uh, the basketball tournament was coming back. Do you even know what that is? Uh, nah. Essentially what it is, it's a, 
I'm a, a tournament. Now. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. So it's a tournament of like all these like former college athletes or whatever, and they like no listen, let's listen though. But they get on teams and they like play and they compete for like two million dollars. But I think this year it's only one million dollars. But like you've seen it before because I, I remember being out with you before at a bar and it was just on in the background, wasn't like you know because it's like it's over. It comes on. It comes on over the summer usually when the NBA is over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you've seen it before. But the point of the story was ESPN announced that they decided they were going to move forward with uh, the basketball tournament. And the dates are July 4th through the 14th. But, like, when I first read it, like, I had a slight grin on my face. And at that point, I knew I was depressed because I was looking forward to it. Oh, like, God. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, opened the story like, oh. And I was like, all right, nah, some, something's got to change because I should not be happy about it this random tournament it's more so something like you put on the, in the background to have something going but you're not really focused on it mm-hmm. that, that's what it is it's not something you should be looking for to set your dvr for like it ain't that kind of shit but that's like the, the smile that came over my face and the thoughts that ran through my mind were like oh it starts on july 4th we can watch that <laughs> we can watch that on <laughs> damn no I, I don't even blame you i've taken this time to watch Every single one of the movies or shows, I've been like, eh, maybe one day when I got some time. Or yep. I, no excuse. i just been digging in, digging in, loaded up. Let's see. <laughs> what else you going to do? I'm going to get it all in now because. You still reading wait. books? I gave up on it. I picked up the Gladwell book again. <laughs> I'll do a chapter here or there. <laughs> Probably Yo. do some more. It's different when it's <laughs> the weather just because I haven't put the AC in either, so it's hot. I don't really want. I don't really want to do much. Like <laughs> I gotta push myself to go running. <laughs> I can't even yeah. lie. I'm not even gonna lie. So like when we like when we first started about reading books, like at the beginning, the beginning of the pandemic, in my mind, I was like, I right, bet. I felt like I was in prison. I'm like, yo, these dudes in prison read mad books. I'm about to mm-hmm. just start running through shit. Sent you the library app, all that shit. I think I read like two books and was like tapped. I know I did two audios and I read through an entire one. So I've read, I read one and listened to two and mm-hmm. I've just continued through the, um, Gladwell. Yeah, I love Gladwell. I love his books, but I'm just not mentally. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. So, like all the you know the the protests and all these racial sh- stuff going on, mm-hmm. I like rented. I got a new book that I was gonna read called uh, "White Fragility: Why mm-hmm. It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism" by Robin D'Angelo. Supposedly, it's a phenomenal book. I started it, read the foreword. Really good. I'm Kevin. I'm just like mentally like tapped out. I really want to devote myself to this book because I, I like I've read reviews raving, mm-hmm. and like supposedly like give you a lot of like great insight and explanations. That's like what's going on in our world. Well, what, what's always been going on in our world, but just what's at the forefront of everyone's minds currently. But I just can't do it. Like after work and all such, I just can't. Like that's yeah. And I, now I look outside. <laughs> I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man yeah man what a year what a year <laughs> oh but there's to... light at the end of the tunnel at least w- what's that what's that well at least a, well i know for me at least a phase has started so we're you do forward. construction huh i mean you do but before we would just kept pushing back <laughs> our stay at home order just getting extended at least we're trying to head in the yeah. right direction now before we have just you, continue with stay at homes. Have do we know anyone? At, do you, I, don't, I don't think I do. But do you know anyone in like construction or anyone who's like actually gone back to work, been taking the subways or anything like that? Recent, like since phase one reopened in New York. Not off the top of my head. Yeah, me neither. Because I'm curious to see. Like, I'm curious to like. Um, I wish we knew someone. Because uh, I'm curious to like, get their viewpoint as to what they're seeing on the daily on the subways because i read articles and you see like how empty the subways still are mm-hmm. and uh people are saying like the sub they've never seen the subway be so clean things like that and i'm just interested to get like a first-hand uh account of that 
Hey, maybe when you up here, you could dive in. <laughs> you should start interviewing people on the train. <laughs> I heard something interesting. I heard that, like, potentially, like, they might, the train might not go back to 24 hours until, like, 2022. So they could keep cleaning it? Yeah. I mean, no. It makes sense. I mean, you don't ride the train. Kev, you ride the train past? I don't ride the train past. You said one. You don't even have to go that late. I'm about to say. (laughs) If I get to work at nine, then, and I, yeah, I mean, yeah, if I get to work late around eight, but then my old job when I was in New York, they used to fucking pay for Ubers after eight. So that was even questionable. Well, that's from the, yeah, I just like, yeah. yeah, I don't. So seven, work, 7.30-ish is a cutoff work time night, for me. Leisure night. Yeah. <laughs> Never train that night. No. Nah. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Yo. We were, we were just talking about that. Like, that's wild. The things we used to do in college is just literally be out in the city and then Get on the subway at four oh, o'clock in yeah. the morning. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it's gonna be a yeah, test when we uh what's it, what is it? In about three weeks, it's gonna be a test. We're gonna have these protest numbers back by then. We're gonna see what phase one has done to the city. Yeah. And if you're up here, we're gonna need to get around. So I don't uh, know listen, if I'm a I could bike in desert heat. Listen, we can <laughs> get around. We can get around during the day. I'm not getting on. I, I, I sound so uppity and bougie. <laughs> like I'm not getting on the subway at night. Like that's not. No, nah, I shouldn't be on the subway at night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shouldn't be on the subway at night. Nah, neither one. They don't want to see us. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Damn, you know what I feel bad for the dudes that uh, make all their money on the train. Oh, performing. Yeah, performing all that stuff. Yeah. Selling candy. Yeah. It hit us hard, man. Market it hit us all and it hit us real. hard. And then even then, think about how uncomfortable people going to feel when niggas get on the, on the train and they doing backflips and shit, touching all the poles and stuff. It ain't going to hit the same. It already was like, yo, chill, you about to kick me in my face. But now it's like, yo, you really spreading germs. It's going to be a different vibe. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how long it takes for these rush hour trains to resemble old rush hour where people piled up, all up on each other. I wonder how long that takes. I think it's really going to take a while because you got to think about most of the the businesses that can telework are mm-hmm. going to take a while. Like that, or that, that can allow the employees to telework are going to continue to do that, at least in some form or fashion. So like tra- like train traffic is going to be like you know broken up. Only people who really will be on the trains are like you know people who can't telework like restaurant workers and things of that nature who need to get into the city and other you know careers but uh people you know who have careers who are you know thank blessed enough to have a career where you can you know do remote work Mm -hmm. there's really no need for you to go to work i went to i went to the office today and i was dead ass like why am i here like i had to like oh i went i had a reason to go i had to like send out some original uh, documents and mail them out via fedex and stuff but like once that was over, I was just sitting there. <laughs> like, I, I, yeah. I, could be sitting at, I could be sitting at home doing this. There's no need for me to be here. And I was talking to other people, and they were like, look, like, people have been coming in one day a week, like, if that. Mm-hmm. So I'd imagine in a place like New York where it's more, way more dense, I think the population of New York City, not including the metropolitan area, just New York City itself, is like mm. nine times Charlotte. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm sure employers are not going to be expecting people to rush back in, into offices. So, mm-hmm. at least they shouldn't be if they were smart. We'll see. Yeah. Wow. So what? You, what? Yeah. No, so I, I, we 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 didn't we left this off the topic, but about the NBA, what do you think about them potentially having a condensed season, like next season, starting in December? Or whenever the hell they're gonna start, but it's gonna be basically the equivalent so, of like a lot. It's gonna basically be the equivalent of a lockout season. <laughs> so they could start on time for the following season, back in yeah. October, November. Yeah. Oh, I think they should use the opportunity to gauge what this. Um, I don't think they should condense. I think they should just use this up. Op- ah, uh, no, I think they should just use this opportunity to see what a December to um 
was it like July, August season looks like? Fire. I think they should use the opportunity Fire. and just see what it looks like. Yeah. And and then with, with that data in the books, if that doesn't work, I guess condense the following. I don't really, you don't really have to just try it out if it doesn't work. Well, I guess you'd have to at that point if you want to go back to the old ways, but use this to implement implement some real change. You know, I don't even know why it wouldn't work though. In the summer, NBA, like I, I just outside of the facts that outside of the facts that outside of the fact that potentially the players enjoy having their summers off. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a that's a <laughs> that's a good one actually. Yeah, the ma- majority still will. What was it like late October till April? So what's that? One, two, three, six months. So I'm just uh, people I'm just get off in you. June and then playoffs from June to say from April to June, so from June to August. No, you're right. You're right. All the people because, that matter, the superstars that are going to be in the playoffs, their summer vacations then get cut into. Mm, I'm interested. Because the only effect, well, the majority of oh, the top players, yeah. But mm-hmm. then, I don't know. They're the ones that matter. Their opinions are the ones that really matter. No, it's, it's. I mean, that's just, that's just one. It makes sense. No, it makes that, sense. Uh, I just don't know how many. Like, if you play yeah. till the finals, you're out till, like, mid-August. I could get that. I could get that, and then. What was it from June to August? One, two, three, so like four months. So from I mean, but at the August same time, to December. Listen, you're rich and you can go anywhere. I, I, that, uh, listen, you beat me too. I, that's why I'm like at the same time. These are both top negatives. They can go. They can follow the heat. They can go wherever. You the make fuck summer. They want. Yeah. <laughs> There's always summer somewhere, and, and they can access like, it. Yeah. 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 Like, you start in June. You get knocked off. Some people are gonna get knocked off in July. You still, and some the yeah. worst you'll get, you get knocked off in late July. And the worst is you lose or win. I'm not yeah. saying I feel bad, but I'm saying that could be their viewpoint, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't say I, I agree with that. I don't. From a viewer's perspective, it'll be way more entertaining in the summer because the summer. Well, first of all, the summer is dry as is. Yeah, sorry, baseball, the, but. Yeah, like summer is just it. yeah. The, oh, the only other reason why I think they probably wouldn't do it as well would be the WNBA because the WNBA already struggles with ratings, and the WNBA um, will be competing against the NBA. What's their typical season? Brrr, yeah, I don't, don't. I think it's like no, no. <laughs> June to or May to August. Well, the 2019 season began on May 24th. Yeah. It went from May 24th to October 10th. Yeah, uh, I hear close you. enough. Yeah, that's like right. Nah, I mean, WBA already struggles to get ratings. I mean, you can always move yeah, WBA. Because right now you're only intruding about like maybe two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Versus the majority of the season. No, that's a good point. Unless they start that later. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I guess go back to the old ways. But from a from a viewer's perspective, it'd be way more entertaining to watch basketball in the summertime because even like so think about this. You got December, right? They say they start around Christmas, right? Somewhere around that mm-hmm. time. So you get the Christmas Day uh great games, you get the MLK games, right? Football, the Super Bowl is what the first or second week in February? Second. Somewhere around there. No, so first, even, first, so, first, first, first. Yeah, so even if you're competing with the NFL for, let's say, six weeks total, right? Mm-hmm. And you're opening, opening, you know, your first six weeks ratings aren't going to be, you know, what you're used to having your, your regular opening night ratings be. The rest of the, after the NFL is done in February, early February, the world is yours. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, you, you can beat baseball. Trust me, you can beat baseball. Like... <laughs> So it's just you. And then when the weather gets warm, people going to be out drinking mm-hmm. and, and watching basketball all summer. 
Yeah. Or for, or at least for most of it. <sighs> yeah, to your point, if you launch in December, you like say Christmas, you have, I guess that final week of football or maybe another week with this extended week. I forgot how it works, but. Oh, and yeah, then from week. there, you just got a month of Saturday, a month and a half, a Saturday and Sunday, two days out the week. That's it. And they can survive and then, that. Yeah, it's two days and it's less and less games as you go further and further. So yeah, you can. You can. It's not like an everyday thing. They could definitely survive that. You have the whole know. Week. And then you have the rest of the you have the rest of your season to yourself. Mm-hmm. League pass numbers will probably be jumping. <laughs> yeah. They probably have more league pass subscribers, seriously. They ain't to put me in the front office. <laughs> Got Silva up in there playing games. I read their apprehension is that just fear people are home in the summer. I'm, at least try it. I get it, but at least try it. You have, you're in a position to. Might as well. Well, at the same time, we, we live in a different age. Like, people, people don't have, yeah. you don't have to be home to consume TV or watch mm-hmm. TV. Like, I subscribe to uh, a TV uh, program, TV uh, app where my I watch my shit on my phone when I'm on the road and stuff. Like I can watch TV anywhere. Yeah. Most people have some kind of way to watch TV. If I'm in a bar, I should count for something. I don't know how, how TV – I really don't understand how TV ratings work. But either way, like, people consume TV in a different way. Like, we don't have to be sitting in the living room with the whole family watching the basketball game. Like, this isn't the 60s and the 70s. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> that's not how it works. Like, yeah. we got TV not with on the you. go. Mm-hmm. Um, so – yeah, that's, that sounds like a bunch of baloney and excuses. How Shake strong are those talks? About what? To condense the season, from what you read. Oh, it just sounds like it's just an oh, idea. Oh, preliminary? Right oh. Yeah, I thought you was... Kev, I, <laughs> I'm glad you said from what you read. I was like, oh, you really think I'm inside that room? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it just seems like it's yeah, like early like early stages, like people just throwing out like ideas. One of the many ideas that's, that's been uh, put on the, the drawing board, essentially. But. Yeah. And I'm seeing they expanded Rosses from 15 to 17. Yeah, that makes sense. Account for the, uh, the holdouts. Yep, holdouts, people not joining, and then you just have, and, but also it gives them an opportunity just in case someone gets sick, someone does show up and say they want to hold out, and you have like your G League players come up and fill in, fill in roster spots. So it's like, there's no excuse to mm-hmm. not have enough players to fill the team, essentially. Or at least, like, to literally try to, like, eliminate any possibility of an excuse. Yeah. And for injury, it's just regular injury, because people, oh, that's another reason why injury. People have been off for so long. Yeah. A lot of, yeah, a lot of it's concerning. I ain't gonna lie. I don't we're know what we're about to see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we're about to see. That first game might be ugly. Those first go, games might be. You going to watch it? You rust though? off? I am, but I'm, I'm mentally preparing myself. Or seeing them actively shake off the rust. Like you see it when they come back and they have those um, initial games to start off the season. It's always a little mm. sloppy, like the first half or so. Yeah. If not longer, because they're trying to get in sync. But, yeah, I'm going to watch it. That's all I got. I just, I just hope it don't happen to Brian. Oh, I just don't want to hear no, 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 people don't talking. Talk like that. Nah, I just don't. You know, I, I'm at the. I've already been like shunning sports talk for a minute now. I don't have to shun yeah. it because people go. I'm back it. off it. Uh, it's it's not an original. Really? I I have nah, my spark, it? but I st- I stopped watching again. It's died down for me as the, as the season gets about. closer. Yeah, there's it's nothing to talk about. I I, I commend them honestly. That's a forty. Yeah. That's, they show up five days a week. Max and Steven, they need a. Uh, they need a medal. Well, like Nathan even. Gone. Oh yeah, he took a break. You're right. Yeah, I think Max true. took one too, but I, they Not were going Max right through. For a minute. Like even Skip and Shannon, they were off initially. Them FS1 yeah. shows were off. There's a little. No. Nope. First take. <laughs> First day, didn't they condense their schedule, though? I think they, only, they were going, like, only for, like, an hour and a half last week. Maybe, but they never stopped. The yeah. others stopped. So. They were starting at, like, 10.30. When you're going through it, they ain't stopped, though. 
every day. But they should have, though, because they weren't talking about anything. Look, man, it's not my place. I'm not the head of programming at ESPN. <laughs> bunch of, a bunch of four subjects. Yeah, but you wrote that, what, Melo said he's not coming back? What are you saying? He said it's up in the air. So he's not going to even go with the team? Did he mention that? No, nah, he just said he's unsure everything's up in the air right now. Bro. Because if this ends up being like another Dame thing, because when I initially read, he said he wasn't going to play. My mind automatically went like, damn, he's not even going to go. But then he said he's going to go support his team. It's like if you're putting yourself through that just being there, you might as well. So if it's one of these, I don't. Nah, he don't want to hurt himself if they, if they don't have no chance. That's what Dame said. Dame's is different. No, Dame's no, no. I like, I oh, get okay. it, but Dame said he was still going to go there and support his team. Oh, that's trash. That's why it didn't make sense to me. Because you, you still yeah, need a thing. stay at home. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well stay at home, man. What you showing up for? Yeah, I mean, Melo's was... But a lot of Car- wine on Melo's side. Yeah, Carmelo. We're going to see if he, he come back in shape still. He, he on the richer side. He should have the home gym set up and all that. That never stopped. That never helped him before. That's a fact. <laughs> He's been on the richest side his whole career. That is a fact. Because yeah. you know he always shows the money. I always took it. Yeah. <laughs> always took he was, it. He was even getting deceptive. He was the one that started them, uh, them IG trick angles and stuff. <laughs> Every offseason had us thinking he was coming back in shape. Nah, there was that one offseason where him and uh. Him and LeBron, like, lost crazy weight. And it didn't really do either of them that much good. It was that one season. Yeah, when Bronson put that bitch up with the hat and he was looking like a damn skeleton. I think that's when his, uh, he had to take them two weeks off for his back <laughs> during the season. I think it was that one. Yeah. But, hey. Yeah. I ain't a person. That, that didn't look healthy, though. It didn't. To lose all that weight in that quick amount of time, like mm-hmm. <laughs> it didn't look good for him. He looked like Fifty Cent. In that remember that 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 movie Fifty Cent did where he played like a cancer patient. I didn't see the movie, but I know it was on like I didn't either. But I've seen the yeah, I've the seen image, the picture. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Brown didn't look. It didn't look good on him. Hmm. But then he came back two weeks later and was on the court back at two fifty five. Yep. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't discuss that. <laughs> I don't discuss that. He got that. He got that. He knows, oh. he knows his body well. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Nothing to see here, folks. That's all, that's, <laughs> that's all you can say. What did he spend? Yeah. $2 million on his... Oh, my God. Nothing that's to see a, here. That's an ungodly amount of money. $2 million on your health and nutrition. That's the I same... Mean, I don't know. I mean, at least I know what that goes to. That's kind of like these co- corporations, someone they donating, uh, you know, X amount oh, of dollars. A hundred to, to rac- billions. To end racism. But like, where's it going? <laughs> to fight yeah, to combat that, racism. It's like, I need a little bit more. Like I saw the NFL was committing 250 mil over the next 10 so years to fight racial inequality. Was it? How does that happen? Yeah, I need more than that. What are y'all doing? Y'all more. building schools? Like, what are y'all doing? Show me your outline. Show me a plan, and tell me where these funds are being allocated to. Mm-hmm. To fight social million. inequality, to fight police brutality, eh. to fight it. I don't know how that works. What do you do? I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. To fight it. We'll see. We'll see as the time goes. That's all we got. Yeah. Bro, at least you got the streets coming to you though. I got, I got, I got the, I got a light version of the streets coming to me. Streets light. <laughs> it's like with first take, they never went nowhere though. Yeah, it's just better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I got streets light. I'm, I got, you know, like like diet soda. That's what I got going outside right now. You know, it's cool. It's something. It is. It, it is. is. It's, it's something. Um. But we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't ever sound like I'm a Debbie Downer in Charlotte, but it's Charlotte, so it could be Charlotte light. But also, I don't know anyone here. So like now, 
I'm gonna get out, you know, actually get to meet some people and see what the and get a real feel for the mm-hmm. city. So I'll have to update uh, about the city because I feel like I'm always talking shit about a place that I live in. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you gonna get to also, really like, know it now. Never, never really explored it. So outside mm-hmm. of like you know the basic, this is the 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 dive bar that's like two blocks from me type stuff. Like I never really like got too far from my apartment. So I'm gonna make that a mission. I mean, make that. Oh, make a purpose to do that. Uh, so mm-hmm. we'll see. Hey, that's what I have now. Got streets light, but I'm, I don't know even talk like that because if I come there on the fourth, it's gonna be streets light light. <laughs> What's well, a different energy though? Yeah, it's New York. A, yeah, it's just a different energy. Oh. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> It's gonna be here faster. We got like what, three more weeks. Mhm. Yeah. Well. It will. Yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah, literally three more weeks from today to this day. To this yeah, day. that'll be here. Yeah, before we know it. <clears throat> Damn. I mean, yeah, I need to wake up and get my life back together. Can't be up there day one passing out at eight o'clock. <laughs> Tolerance low as hell. <laughs> nah, guys, you guys go without me. <laughs> uh, oh, man. All right. I think we hit it all. Mm-hmm. As always, people, thank you for the love, the support. Make sure you guys go rate, share the podcast, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, make sure you check out the website, coolnowpod.com. Got the full-length video clips up on YouTube. Make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, full-length episodes, well, chopped into 10-minute increments of the full-length episode on IGTV. Audio is available everywhere, streaming everywhere that podcasts are available. I'm not going to go through all of them. You know all the major ones. We are there. Until next time, this is Coolin' Out. Stay cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out.